guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video all right so today I'm sitting in front of my Christmas tree giving you all the Gabriella Fortunato vibes if you don't know who she is I'll try to link her profile down below I do love watching her vlogs and her content and currently she's doing vlogmas I think by the time you see this video that she is still doing vlogmas I know how a lot of vloggers and just youtubers in general they start out doing vlogmas and they get worn down and it's a struggle and even though I'm not doing vlogmas I am trying to roll out more content this month and I know I got a slow start to it but hopefully when you see this video you are enjoying more content from me um, if you're watching this video and you fuck with me, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, that you like this video, and that you share it. If you are new to my channel, hi girl, welcome. And if you get to the end of this video or watch this video for any amount of time and you like what you see, you think um, I'm cool or whatever, <laughs> or just somebody that you could get along with, make sure that you also subscribe. In one of my previous videos, you will, you guys will have already seen that I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers because YouTube be playing with me and it's probably because I curse a lot on my channel. So it's really not putting me out there. And um, I don't know. If you think what I'm doing is worth more people watching, please make sure that you share. Please make sure that you subscribe because I do want to get up to... Uh, well at least up to 300 subscribers but eventually I do want to grow my audience even more but once we get to 300 subscribers I am going to be doing a giveaway and when I, I would like to do it before the year's up but um it's up to the numbers because I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers but enough about that let's get into why we're here you guys read the title and you guys know that I have an Ulta haul. So I am sitting here instead of like at my table where I normally do my makeup just because that area is number one cluttered, two I'm using it for work so I just, you know, I was going for the holiday vibes. Um, anyways, I did peek in here. I didn't fully open like everything that was in here but this is the box that I did get from Ulta. It is, um, how can I say this? It was from the Black... Okay. I ordered this from Ulta uh, during the Black Friday sale. And it actually came rather quickly. I got it like maybe two days ago. Maybe on December 8th. Because I'm filming on December 10th. So by the time you see this, you're going to be like, Damn, bitch, you took forever to release this video. I'm trying, guys. Um, I really do try. <laughs> You're like, bitch, try harder. No. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this, show you what I bought and how much I bought it for, because I believe the slip is in here. So it did come with lots of packaging to keep it safe. All right, so I'm gonna, sh there's only one item that I'm not going to show you because I'm going to be giving it as a Christmas gift and I wouldn't want that person to see me okay you probably just saw it but I don't want that person to like see me unbox it or even show you what it is um, because they could be watching my um, channel all right so I'm gonna start with all the small stuff that was up on top and I'm gonna tell you how much I bought it for and then show you the product so the first item I have here is a blush from Kylie's Cosmetic, Kylie Cosmetics and all of her blushes, her bronzers, and her highlighters at Ulta were $10 and I haven't bought one off her regular site, I've only had one from Ulta and you guys can comment down below, is the packaging the same? Are they pink like this? I mean, I should know, but I do not know. And this is in the shade we're going shopping. So this is the shade. So that is the shade. It's a pink. <laughs> I don't know a lot about blushes, but I do like them. I do have one other from her. Um, so I just made sure to get different shades. 
uh, different a different shade than I already had. That being said, I got an. Let me see. I got another blush. No, I didn't. I only got one blush. Okay. So. I got a bronzer and we're gonna see how this goes. I was just really curious about the bronzer, so that's the packaging. Sorry if I start slouching, like my back is like hurting. And I got this in tequila tan. I will say the blushes whenever I did go to pick one out, the shade that I thought was going to be my shade was sold out, so I did have to pick my second choice. And so this is in tequila tan and actually I think this is this color is gonna be perfect for me I'm gonna use it as a bronzer slash a uh, contour powder so that's really pretty and then I got two highlighters I got two highlighters and one is in the shade Cheers Darling, and one is Ice Me Out. So I'm gonna go with Cheers Darling. And I've never tried any of her um, highlighters before. I think the only thing I've tried, uh, like highlighter of hers, was a highlighter like loose powder, and I bought that from her actual site. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm gonna have to swatch it. This. This is Cheers Darling. Let's see. Cheers Darling. And I don't know if you guys can get like a good feel for it, but I am gonna swatch it. It's nice, soft, and creamy. I'm gonna just swatch it on the back of my hand. Give me just a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna swatch it right back here. There you go. And that was in the shade Cheers Darling. Okay. I did have to switch up the position in which I was sitting in. I'm kind of on my knees now. Only because um, that was hurting my back. I don't know. Alright, so the other highlighter I got is Ice Me Out. My back hurts. <laughs> So this is in the shade Ice Me Out. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch just like I did the other one. Um, but again, this is the component, the packaging. We've seen it, we love it, we're here for it. This one's significantly lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one as well. And this was in Ice Me Out. So here's Ice Me Out. It's on this side. It's the lighter one. So there we go. Cheers, darling, and Ice Me Out. They're actually really pretty, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I like her products, so I'm not that surprised, but yeah. All right. <clears throat> Then, so those were ten dollars each, and then I got her lipstick. Here's the thing. Okay, they don't even tell us how much we paid for everything, so scratch that. I believe the lipsticks were also ten dollars, and I got her matte lipstick in the shade August. Um, fun fact. Kylie and I are both Leo, so we're here for it. <laughs> now, I'm a very proud Leo. If you guys don't know me, I'm a proud ass bitch. <laughs> no, my hair's doing, I don't know what today. But this is in the shade August, um, and I'm also like an August Leo, so I just had <sighs> my hair. So I just had to pick it up. Um, the component looks like this. I did think it was kind of odd that it does say Kylie Jenner when all her other stuff just says Kylie. Like, I think we could have just done with Kylie. Um, and this is the shade. Oh, yes, queen. <laughs> okay, so that's the shade. 
Let's see if it's gonna focus. Focus, focus, focus. My bad, bitch. <laughs> this is the shade. And guys, when you twist it all the way out, look at that, it says her name when you twist it all the way out. So beautiful. And I think I'm just gonna swatch this on my hand as well so we can all see the color. Oh, this is so pretty. That's gonna be pretty on. I'm wearing gloss right now so I won't try it on, but it looks really pretty. So I think that was a good choice. I think that was a good choice of color. All right. So I'm back on the floor because my knees started hurting. My back still hurts. What the crease? I can't be doing these videos. No, okay, so um, then the next item, I know this was less than $10, but I'm not sure if I can find like my online receipt or where I purchased it like in the app, then I will go ahead and put it in there. But I'm pretty sure this was less than $10. I wanna say it was eight or nine. But, I know, I know, I know, I got the Lime Crime Wet Cherry um, Ultra Shiny Lip Gloss, and it's in the shade Extra Poppin'. Okay. I know that a lot of you guys do not support Lime Crime, and a lot of people don't in general for numerous reasons, um, especially because of, I think it's Doe Deers, her name, whatever, the original founder of Lime Crime. But, I did want to try it, um, and I believe it's vegan and cruelty free, yep. And I got this in the shade Extra Poppin'. They do have this in numerous sh shades, but I just got it in clear, um, because I am excited to kind of try it. I love that it has such a chubby, like, applicator. Kind of like a lot of the concealers and stuff that we see nowadays, but it's chubby. It does smell like cherry, and what I'm curious about is I wonder if all of them, even though they're different colors, are all the same flavor, cherry, because the it is called wet cherry. So I'm excited to try that. I do have gloss on. For the simple fact, I was editing a video uh, just today and yesterday Two different videos my lips looked crustier <laughs> than crusty and I was like that that can't be it that's not it that will not be it so today I came through with the gloss okay all right I have two more items here I know this came out like last January or last February I'm not too sure but I didn't own it and it was 50% off and even though Morphe has it on sale regularly for like 50% off, I ended up buying it and scooping it up um, with the Ulta Black Friday. So that being said, it's the Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume two. I know people have their mixed feelings also about Jaclyn Hill and all it, honestly, I, I give zero fucks for her. Like, not in a mean way. No tea, no shade. Jacqueline, don't try to come for me. If you're a Jacqueline follower, more power to you. I don't have anything against her. I just don't like watching her videos. <laughs> Anyways, but I will say this palette, since it released, had caught my eye because I really do like the sunset colors that are in it. I'm I'm a sucker for a sunset and I feel like this palette has it and even though it is Morphe and I don't really think the quality of their shadows are the best, um, I did want to try it out. So, here's the palette. You can comment down below your feelings about it. Let me know if you own it. Is it a good palette to own? What do you think of the color payoff? Is it a good job on Morphe's end? Should I have passed? Should I return it? I mean, but I say sunset colors. Look at all these pinks, orange, 
yellow which can fade into a purple it's beautiful and I'm looking at these colors in real life and they are pretty I'm not gonna go through and swatch these first of all my back hurts second of all like I'm not prepared for that today but if you would like swatches if you want to see a look with this palette comment down below girl and let me know because it is so pretty look at these reds over here I don't think I have a palette with reds and there might be a red in the James Charles one I'm not sure but look at that red living my best yes girl I don't know why I did that don't come for me I don't know why I did that <laughs> I don't know so yeah I'm, I mean I'm excited I think the colors are pretty and yeah it didn't come broken so I'm pleasantly surprised I've bought in palettes from Morphe not from Ulta but from Morphe that have come shattered so I'm happy to see that it's intact the last item that I have here, if you're still here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but the last item I have, you, you guys, I was taking a risk. Okay, so that Jaclyn Hill palette, it was 50% off. I ended up paying like $19 for it or $20 for it. And then, of course, I don't know if you guys follow Morphe that closely, but Morphe came out with another palette. And it ironically reminds me of the Stone Cold palette from ColourPop which is sold out ColourPop why are you doing this you make good products and then you sell out and then I can't buy them because I would rather support them honestly I would rather support them because I like their products so much more but they were sold out of the stone cold and bitch was feeling like my money was burning a hole in my pocket so I couldn't wait for them to come back into stock and so I, I ended up buying another Morphe palette. And I bought their, one of their newer ones, I guess, and it's called Natural Flirt. When I saw the pictures of it, I was like, ooh, it kind of gives off those same vibes that Stone Cold was giving me. And the only reason I saw the Stone Cold palette, really, is because influencers were doing looks with it. And at first I was like, who wants that palette? Why are they showing me that? And then... I kept seeing it more and more and then I decided I wanted it because that's how influencers do us. No, because technically I guess I'm an influencer on some micro level. Check this out, check this out, check this out. No. All right, so this is the Natural Flirt palette. It is, um, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Duh, it says 35. 35 pan palette <gasps> and I'm shook it there's uh, there was a little bit of shadow fallout look how pretty this is the only downfall is that these Morphe palettes or one of the downfalls is they don't have any um, mirrors but look at those cream shadows there's a couple of glitters in there they're so pretty Wow Actually, there's only one chunky glitter, but there's a few uh, shimmers, and I know their shimmers are pretty decent. So, this one, regardless if you want to look with it, I'm pretty 100% positive that you will be seeing a look with this because I'm excited to use it. And when I get excited about using stuff, I pull out my camera. So, you guys should be seeing a look with this palette. Comment down below, have you seen this palette before? What do you think about it? Have you used it before? Do you own it? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's probably the back pain, like shooting up my back. And normally I don't have a problem, but maybe it's just these titties. I don't know. Maybe they're just, you know, super huge that I can't like. No, they're not super huge. I don't know what my problem is. Oh, this feels so much better. All right. That is the end of my Ulta haul. Um, I did spend quite a bit of money on all of it. Um, what was this? 
this is so the Jaclyn Hill palette was $20 the natural flirt palette was oddly only $25 um, these were $10 each and then this was ten dollars each and i want to say this was eight or nine the lip gloss and i will let you know how this performs if you're not following me on instagram you should follow me at instagram vanessa dot v um because um sometimes i might be just popping on there and be like and be like like i don't know how to speak anymore um might just pop on there and be like guys this is the wet cherry gloss that i got this is what it looks like i love it or this is the august lipstick um but yeah <sighs> thanks for hanging out with me oh my back hurts sorry for being such a pooper complaining about my back um but yeah thanks for hanging out guys and until next time my hair looks so gross. Why does it look so gross? All right, guys. Until until next time. Bye. Um, I know a lot of people don't support Lime Crime for a, a numerous around, amount, numerous reasons. For numerous reasons.